Bridget and welcome to my kitchen where I make family friendly food that's wholesome and tastes good. You know, a good oatmeal cookie is hard to find, the kind that's thick and soft and fills you up. Well, these pumpkin oatmeal cookies do all of that and more with a distinctive taste of fall. Let me show you how. We're going to start by mixing together two and a quarter cups of flour with one and a half cups of rolled oats. To that, we'll add a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. When I measure flour, I spoon it into the measuring cup instead of scooping, so I don't end up with too much flour. Now we're going to combine the wet ingredients and the sugar. So this is half a cup of melted butter. And to that I'm going to add half a cup of oil. You can use olive oil or grapeseed oil, canola oil. I'm measuring it in a one quarter cup measure because next I'm going to measure a quarter of a cup of molasses and when the measuring cup is slicked with oil the molasses will slide right out. Then we will add a teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and then we're going to stir those together. Now I'm going to add one egg yolk and our pumpkin puree. Now we'll add the egg yolk. And finally, we're going to add the pumpkin puree. This is three quarters of a cup of pure pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. Once this is mixed in, then we'll stir in the dry ingredients. Now we'll mix in the dry ingredients. This is going to be a thick, sticky batter. And finally, when all of the oats and flour and sugar and pumpkin is mixed together, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of dark chocolate chips and three quarters of a cup of dry cranberries. If the cranberries are stuck together a little bit, you can separate them. I have preheated the oven to 350, so it'll be all set when we're ready to scoop these onto the cookie sheet. We're going to scoop the cookie dough onto a cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. And I use parchment paper because it means I don't have to grease my cookie sheets and the cookies always brown perfectly on the bottom. I use a medium cookie scoop, which is about two tablespoons worth of cookie dough. 
These cookies don't spread a whole lot, so you don't need to leave a ton of space in between them. Now before they go in the oven, I'm just going to flatten them a little bit with the bottom of a glass that I wet just lightly. Now they will cook for 14 or 15 minutes in a 350 oven. The cookies are puffed and set in the middle, so I know they're ready. Homemade cookies are always best eaten fresh, but they will stay fresh in a tin on the counter for the better part of a week, and you could freeze them for one to two months. Yum, nice and soft, just the way I like them. I'll be sharing more recipes for comforting cookies, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Perfect.